Israel. Hello there. Rest right. How are you? Right. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. on whether you approved the Israeli armed shipments to Tehran before they took place. Helen, uh, besides reminding you, this is a photo opportunity and no questions, but I'm not going to take any questions on that situation until the Tower Commission's report is, is turned in to us. Then you're going to take questions? Possibly. Are you going to fire uh, Reagan? Or is he talking to Mrs. Reagan? Or is she talking to him? <laughs> There's a report in the paper today that they're not speaking. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Not true? Uh, no, not true. Nobody's getting fired. Because of Mr. Because of the Israelis' role in this affair, why are you and Mr. Schumer not talking about the Iran affair, sir? I didn't say what we're talking about. I just said what I wasn't going to talk about to him. Well, we were told it wasn't yes. even going to come up for discussion. I think that we have a great many things on the agenda here that are of great importance to both our countries. Do you both agree on what Israel's role in this matter was? Um, you're asking questions, and I've just said we're not going to take any. Mr. President, you said that, you said that mistakes had been made. Could you tell us who made those mistakes in the Iran policy? Uh, I told you. There will be no 
answers on questions of having to do with that until the Tower Commission has submitted its report. Thank Mr. You. President, uh, you said no one was going to get fired. Will Mr. Regan be staying on as your chief of staff? Uh, well, this is up to him. I have always said that uh, when the people that I've asked to come into government feel that they have to return to private life, that's their business, and I will never try to talk about it. Is that a yes or a no, sir? That's a no answer. That's not an answer. <laughs> I think that's what we thought. Is it long? Is it long? We at the top. Please step back. Just fine. That will answer anything. Yeah. Mr. President, do you and Mr. Shamir agree on the international conference? Just not going to take questions. <laughs> you started lifting weights again? You started pumping iron again? Oh boy, I hate Correct. to say that I'm not answering questions to that. It started yesterday. <laughs> President, you have said you would not answer questions until after the Tower Board report. Will you, after the Board report, hold a news conference to take questions on it? Well, we'll be making announcements on what we're going to do uh, uh, once that report is with us. Do you expect the Tower Board report to be very tough, Mr. President? What's your expectation of it? Wait and see. Nice, please. Thank you. Just emphasize to the Prime Minister the strengthening of our strategic partnership was one of the most important accomplishments of certainly of my presidency. And uh, despite the fallout from the Iran matter, uh, the Prime Minister and I are determined to make this relationship even stronger over the next two years. I think we've accomplished a great deal together and we must continue to move ahead and not look back. When I go on, you must have an agenda and some things that you would like to discuss. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you for your important and warm words. To say that uh, there are rumors coming from the Middle East that the United States has lost its credibility or its prestige. I must say that it's not true. The United States stands tall in the area and all over the world. And millions of people thank God that there is an America in the world. Good to see with all this unaccustomed sunlight. It's been a pleasure in our search for a constructive approach to Arab-Israeli reconciliation. We talked about the dangers that not be built in an environment where there is no hope. In our discussions, we agreed again that the road to peace lies through bilateral negotiations between it. We believe this requires direct bilateral negotiations. Any reasonable means of 
including an international country, strong and vital bilateral relationship in the broad scope of our cooperation. Both our governments face tight budgets. I assured Prime Minister finally in our discussions, we reaffirmed our concern about the plight of Soviet Jewry. We took note to look to the future. The Prime Minister and I are committed to the close cooperation long enjoyed by the United States and Israel. It is an honor to have Prime Minister Shamir with us to reaffirm the solid bond of affection between our countries and our peoples. Mr. President, America, under your leadership, stands tall and upright despite ancient difficulties. Unite us in thought and in deed. Since my last visit as Prime Minister, we have given more substance to join your strategic defense initiative, and we hope to expand our cooperation in this program. We've also just concluded an agreement enabling this on the foundations of the Camp David Accords, which remain the only agreed and therefore only way to cornerstone for peace in the area. We renew the call to our neighbors to join us in direct negotiations. However, we must press on this whole vigor to persuade the Soviet authorities to let all our people return to their ancient model for true civil liberties and democratic government. We are marking the 90th anniversary of the birth of our national liberation movement. Thank you, Mr. Stop! Up! Put your thumb up! No, no. Are you scared? 